12 huge EastEnders spoilers for next week. Get ready for an explosive week in Walford as we dive into 12 huge spoilers coming your way from August 26 to 30. A devastating crowd crush at Peggy's will shake the entire square, George reunites with his brothers, and Cindy and Junior's affair faces serious danger. You won't want to miss a single moment. But before we get into the drama, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on the latest EastEnders spoilers and updates. Let's jump into what's coming up in Albert Square next week. 1. Penny's club night is sabotaged. After the weekend's carnival celebrations, the square is still buzzing. Penny is hosting her own club night, but she hasn't done enough preparation and tries to sell some last-minute tickets outside the Vic. Chelsea and Penny clash at Peggy's again, so Chelsea decides to sabotage Penny's big night. She messes with the booking system and makes more tickets available online, even though the event is almost at capacity. 2. George gets big news. George is caught off guard when his family friend Angela calls with news that his brothers are coming to visit from Ghana. The suddenness of the visit stirs up a lot of emotions for George, especially because he hasn't seen them since their father passed away. He's hesitant and worried about how they might feel about everything that happened. The weight of the past hangs heavy, and George isn't sure if he's ready to face it, or them just yet. But as always, Gina and Anna step in with some heartfelt advice. They remind George that family is family, no matter what. And sometimes the hardest conversations are the ones that need to happen the most. After some thought, George decides to go ahead and meet his brothers. He knows it won't be easy, but he also knows that it's time to reconnect and face whatever comes with it. 3. Peggy's gets crowded. Penny's been doing her best to keep the club buzzing, totally oblivious to the chaos Chelsea set in motion behind the scenes. She's focused on bringing in more and more customers, thinking she's doing a great job by packing the place out. The energy is high, and everyone's in the mood for a good time, but no one realizes just how packed Peggy's is getting. Meanwhile, Avani stirs things up by convincing Amy and Nugget to crash the carnival party. It seems like a fun idea at first, but as more people pile in, the club starts feeling tighter and tighter. The excitement of the night is quickly overshadowed by the growing crowd, and it's clear that things are heading for trouble. What started as a lively evening is turning into a situation that's about to spiral out of control. 4. Cindy and Junior hide Junior invite Cindy to the club night at Peggy's and the pair meet up. But Ian soon arrives, having returned from America, and their affair looks set to be exposed. The pair hide in the office and get carried away, unaware of what is unfolding outside. 5. Jack is devastated. At the Vic, Kim drops a bombshell on Jack, revealing that Denise has started moving forward with the divorce. It's the news Jack's been dreading, and it hits him hard. He's tried to keep it together, but hearing that Denise is finalising things makes it all feel real. The weight of losing his marriage is starting to sink in, and he's struggling to process it. But Jack doesn't have much time to dwell on it because chaos is breaking out over at Peggy's. The situation there is spiralling, and when Jack finally arrives to see what's happened, he's completely devastated. The aftermath of the crush is more than he could have imagined, and it's clear that this night will leave scars on everyone involved. The heartbreak from the divorce and the horror of what's unfolded at Peggy's collide, leaving Jack overwhelmed by it all. 6. George reveals the truth. When Kojo and Kobina walk into the Vic, George is overwhelmed with emotion. It's the first time he's meeting his brothers, and the moment is filled with a mix of excitement and nerves. As they start to talk and catch up, George feels a sense of connection that he's been missing for so long. Kobina gently reveals that Kojo is autistic, adding another layer to the family dynamic that George is just beginning to understand. It's a lot to take in, but George is determined to make the most of this reunion. However, things take a sudden turn when George, in an attempt to be open and honest, mentions that he witnessed their father's murder. He assumed they already knew, but the shock on his brother's faces tells him otherwise. The room grows tense as the realisation sinks in, and George is left scrambling to explain himself. He never meant to drop such a bombshell, especially not during their first meeting, but now there's no turning back. The conversation that follows is heavy and emotional, with George desperately trying to make his brothers understand the pain he's carried alone all these years. Despite his efforts, the damage is done. Kojo and Kobina are visibly shaken, and the atmosphere at the Vic becomes strained. The reunion, which started with so much promise, ends on a sour note as George watches his brothers leave, the weight of the truth hanging heavily in the air. George is left standing there, feeling the sting of what might be another loss, as the reality of his fractured family hits home. 7. Bernie is exposed Sharon's been on edge ever since she started receiving those strange messages. Each one leaves her feeling more unsettled than the last, and she can't shake the feeling that something bad is about to happen. 
The messages are cryptic and creepy, and Sharon's imagination is running wild as she tries to figure out who's behind them and what they want from her. Meanwhile, Bernie, completely unaware of the stress she's causing, has been sending these messages all along. But in a careless moment at the cafe, she accidentally drops her burner phone. It's a small slip, but it could have huge consequences if someone picks it up and connects the dots. The question now is whether Bernie's secret will be exposed, or if she'll manage to cover her tracks before anyone finds out. 8. George makes amends. Junior tells George to try and repair his relationship with his brothers, but when he rings Kabina, there is no answer. Kojo wanders off alone, overwhelmed by the situation, and when he gets frustrated in the cafe, Martin contacts George. George calms down his brother, and after he and Kojo have an emotional chat, George plans how he will make amends with his brothers. 9. Chelsea faces questions. In the aftermath of the crush, Chelsea is overwhelmed with guilt, knowing she played a part in what happened. The weight of the tragedy is heavy on her shoulders, and she can't stop thinking about the people who were hurt. She's haunted by the possibility that her actions, however unintentional, contributed to the chaos. The reality of the situation is sinking in, and it's clear that this isn't something she can just walk away from. When the police start questioning her about her involvement, Chelsea's anxiety spikes. She's terrified of what might happen next. The fear of facing real consequences is all too real, and she's left wondering if she'll be held responsible for the devastation. As she tries to navigate the situation, the uncertainty about who was hurt and what her future holds is almost too much to bear. 10. Kobina plans to leave Kojo stays the night at the Vic after the chaos of the crush, but Elaine is concerned that he might have another outburst. He continues to react to the situation, but he is calmed down by Kobina, who has returned to the Vic. Kobina and George have another confrontation about their father's murder, before Kobina reveals that he and Kojo are going to return to Ghana. 11. Priya gets a new job. Priya's been having a tough time ever since she was cut off from the Panasars. It's been a real struggle for her, both emotionally and financially, and she's been trying to figure out how to get back on her feet. But despite everything, Priya's determination hasn't wavered. She knows she's got to make something happen, so she puts on a brave face and decides to hustle her way into a new opportunity. She crosses paths with Zack and sees a chance to turn things around. Using her charm and quick thinking, Priya manages to convince him to give her a trial shift at Wolford East. It's not a guaranteed job, but it's a foot in the door and that's all Priya needs right now. She's ready to prove herself, hoping this could be the break she desperately needs to start rebuilding her life. 12. Denzel's fate is revealed. Denzel's family has been on edge ever since the steroid charges came to light. They've been worried sick about what this could mean for his future, knowing that a conviction could derail everything he's been working towards. The tension has been high, and the uncertainty has been weighing on everyone as they wait to find out what the court will decide. When Denzel finally attends court, the outcome is a mix of relief and lingering concern. He receives a suspended sentence, which means he's avoiding jail time for now, but the seriousness of the situation isn't lost on him or his family. While they're glad he's not going to prison, they know this isn't something that can just be swept under the rug. Denzel's future still hangs in the balance, and it's clear that he'll need to be on his best behaviour to avoid further consequences. Thanks for tuning in to catch all the drama heading to Walford next week. It's going to be a wild ride with intense confrontations, shocking revelations, and the aftermath of that devastating crowd crush at Peggy's. There's no telling how these events will reshape life in Albert Square. But one thing's for sure, things will never be the same. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, so you don't miss out on any future spoilers or updates. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time for more EastEnders drama.